In the first meeting this season, Baptiste had one of the most dominating performances of the year. But Adler has been greatly improved since then, seemingly getting better every week. He has basically, Adler has basically been 70% in each of the last two games, including in the quarterfinals against Archers. He was the MVP of that game versus the Archers. We have had some light rain here this morning off and on. Temperatures in the low 70s. Some good cloud coverage right here on the water at Subaru Park just outside Philadelphia. Trevor Baptiste wins the opening possession for Atlas. And we up with the first goal of the semifinal matchup and it's worth two. Baptiste has won both faceoffs today as Atlas and their offense go to work. I know that they're very much improved as well. And so, uh, you know, we're far from done. All right, thanks, Coach. Well, this pace, this energy has been palpable here off the start, and it has been scrambly as Ray comes up with that ground ball. Van Rappors intercepted a pass that dropped into the stick. The longer it does, the more it favors chaos. Absolutely. I, mean, I think you look at Atlas. They want to get their offensive personnel on the field. They'll certainly take opportunities in transition, but they're really secret sauce has been Baptiste. They kind of... Hey guys, let's let's calm things down a little bit. We're okay. So many young players on this Atlas roster. Aiken is one of them. He only played in five games during the regular season after changes. The biggest difference between this season and previous was that they found their culture as a team. He said they found out who they really are. They like to play family style lacrosse. They just want everybody to eat, he says. He says everybody gets a piece. And when I asked him if he was feeling the pressure about being in the semis for the first time, he said the Philadelphia native. Knox Aiken holds nearly every midfielder scoring record at UVA. That's a broken stick for Baptiste on that face-off, trying to get it back for Max Adler. It's been pretty even between the years old. He's in his ninth pro season. He's won three MLL championships, trying to win a PLL championship now. No other team. Other than Whipsnakes have won a PLL championship, they have won back-to-back -back titles in the first two years of the Premier Lacrosse League. They will take on Water Dogs, 1.30 Eastern time. Allowing the cast to get out and run. Couldn't have placed that shot any better for C.J. Costabile. Hit a couple of two-pointers. Didn't play until week four. This is his first year of the PLL for C.J. Costabile. Played off. 103 games in the MLL as that one blocks up just outside the crease. And how about the hard work? Down low for T. Well, itself, but then to quickly get it off at a different release point. Jeff T, the rookie out of Cornell, a nominee for the Jim Brown MVP, the Rookie of the Year Award, and the Attackman of the Year Award. And he missed the first two games of the season. He scores his first here to Canada together. Now a 5-1 run for Atlas in the span of five and a half minutes as Adler wins a faceoff for Chaos and off balance just heaves one towards the net. And that's as good as a turnover for the 31st career postseason point for Eric Law. It is nine professional seasons between Major League Lacrosse and the going into half here. Yeah. I mean, Cade had an uh, offensive mini trapped on him, so he set a nice pick. My, tried, my guy tried to go underneath, and I was able to pull up with a, without anyone contesting me. Thanks, Brian. Attack that short stick sum, also got involved in, num in a number of two-man games. We need to see the chaos kind of replicate that on their offensive side of things. They, they just didn't do much in that second quarter, obviously. Never really got in a rhythm, didn't see a lot of six-on-six -six sets. Face-off numbers look pretty even, didn't feel that even though, right? Yeah. Adler and Baptiste scrapping for one here. Ball still available. Baptiste came up with it, trying to escape, and he does. So Trevor Baptiste opens the second half of the faceoff win, but he is being hounded relentlessly. And finally, 0-7 for chaos. Dane Smith with Devin. Dane, how do you guys get your offense going again with that goal? Oh, we just need a ball possession. It's, uh, we're kind of rushing things. They're forcing us to bad decisions. We just got to play our offense. You happen to have wandered away from your TV, but you can still hear us. Uh, that is CJ Costabile who hit the two. Brian Costabile hit one earlier for Atlas. They are unrelated. But Bounty there. He likes the doubles. They've got a couple doubles. Two two-pointers in this game for Chaos, who hit nine of them during the regular season. That is in a nine-game regular season. 
Torres. Baptiste came away with that ball momentarily. Right now, camera is not coming. He's asking me. You were just super fired up. How happy are you with the way your team's been playing in the second half? We're not getting happy. We're staying angry all the way to the end. All right, fair enough. Thanks, coach. He's selling that anger. They've been selling that underdog mentality as well. I think they kind of like coming in as the sixth seed. They came in playing some good lacrosse. They're peaking at the right time. But they came in as the sixth seed in the playoffs. They upset their match. The offensive set that they use. So got to love the effort from Cloutier coming flying out of the box. Baptiste won the clamp but left the ball behind. Chaos had a 4-0 run to start the game. They're on a 6-0 run to start the second half. They only scored one goal in between. They've hit two two-pointers. <laughs> Don't want to give away any secrets. Sutton Clarella powering the athletes under the helmet, not giving away Josh Byrne and Kyle Jackson's conversation. 5.77 seconds left to go in the third quarter. A violation against Trevor Baptiste. Then presented by Out Systems. I guess the good news for Alice looking at the way the quarters have gone, it, it's their turn. Yeah, you, you try to predict what's going to happen <laughs> next, but Atlas will respond. They're, they're definitely going to go on a run at some point. Danny Logan had to take that face off, and he had a chance to win it. He just went to pick up the ball and didn't have a stick anymore. Trevor Baptiste was called for a violation with that last second face off in the third quarter, and Logan comes back to for Dane Smith. It's 12 points in two playoff games, and they're still eight. Right now, nothing has gotten by him in more than 20 minutes of gameplay. Atlas still haven't scored here in the second half as Baptiste wins the faceoff. They go to Caraway, who goes for two, and Reardon went down to get. Belies the fact that he's a rookie. First goal in nearly 21 minutes for Atlas. And it stops a 9-0 run for Chaos, which was on the heels of an 8-1 run for Atlas. Does Atlas have another run left in them? They're going to need it. They've got a little something to transition here. Garrett Eppel, his upper extremity injury. Max Adler wins the faceoff. Max Adler gets knocked to the turf. Knox Aiken will pick it up. As Atlas 